Hi everybody, just a quick um, video. Uh, I'm just going to tell you about uh, what I'm going to use for a tea which may help uh, with blood clots. So um, I'm using turmeric, I'm using cloves, I'm using ginger, cinnamon, uh, cardamom pods and star anise. I, might, I would have also added uh, nutmeg if I had it, but I don't have it. Um, so I'm going to boil this for eight minutes because you need that for turmeric. Otherwise, it doesn't really absorb into your body very much. And I'm going to add just one of these, uh, a, a, just a normal bag of English breakfast tea or builder's tea uh, per cup. And I'm putting in like a whole clove of garlic. So it's going to absorb and then I'm going to repeat using it and let it infuse over the day so i might add a little bit more of this and that in as we go i'm going to top it off with condensed milk which i know a lot of people are like totally against but it's very common in asia that gives it a real good sweetness and then i'm going to uh, just finish it off so it's about a third milk so it's very much like a tea latte so it's got spicy uh flavors but it's also got the sweetness of the condensed milk to balance it out and then the milk gives it a nice creamy finish so it's actually quite a nice tea but unlike normal Indian tea which you would get with uh, tea bags like this you've got the ginger and turmeric in there and you really want to get that turmeric in there two teaspoons of that um, one teaspoon of that and that's going to do me for about three or four cups of this stuff and uh, I'm putting like I said one, one of these in per cup and uh, you know I may add a little bit more of these later on and I'm gonna drink it hot but I'm also gonna I've got a 20 hour drive tomorrow I've just had my first jab like two days ago so I'm a little bit concerned because my brother had uh, a bit of an issue with the jab so this isn't medical advice by the way I, I'm just doing what I think might help keep my blood thin and might stop uh, anti-clotting there's exercise videos on YouTube as well for your legs. You just got to do certain movements with your legs, which act activates all the muscles and keeps your, your legs warm and, and, and the blood flowing. I'm also taking garlic capsules and uh, vitamin E capsules and drinking green tea instead of coffee. Okay, I might just show you uh, how I ladle it out later on, but basically, I use this stuff I don't even filter it I just stir it let it let it settle and then once it's settled use a ladle to kind of take off from the top so that there's not too much bits get into it you could pass it through a strainer though um, that would be a, a nicer way of doing it and then keep boiling it reuse it keep adding stuff to it and uh, you can use it all day you know four cups out of it and uh, just add what 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 you need when you need it if you haven't got condensed milk i'd put in like a d dessert spoon of uh, brown sugar or a, f a heat d d dessert spoon of honey um so yeah it's got to be sweet you want a third of milk in it so it's like a latte and um all this spice especially the turmeric the ginger and the cinnamon uh, they're going to help you probably going to help you keep your blood thin and avoid blood clots so I'm going to take little bottles of cold uh, tea for this 20 hour drive we've got tomorrow as well as doing those exercises I might show you the uh, the finished thing later on if I can figure out how to put two videos together on my phone okay thanks for watching and uh, enjoy ask me any questions if you've got them okay let's have a quick look at how it looks these are the ingredients this tea is uh, Dilma, high quality tea, so it doesn't stew like normal uh, tea. I would normally put this in three to five minutes towards the end so they don't, it doesn't get the bitter taste, but with Dilma, their teas are good, so you can just leave it in all day. That's all the ingredients, turmeric, ginger, everything else, smashed up the cardamom seeds. And uh, yeah, we're gonna leave that for eight, 10 minutes. I'm gonna ladle some out and I'm gonna keep uh, keep using it keep adding to it and get uh, nice and healthy okay it's been about eight minutes or ten minutes I don't really keep a, a strict time on it I'm not the one for doing that so as you can see I'm just giving it a bit of a stir to get the bits around the edges once it's done 
once it's settled, I mean, I'm then going to do that into my cup and half fill it up or two thirds fill it up. So I'm just going to let it stand like that for a minute first. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, I gave it a stir and then I've, I've left it to settle for one minute. And now I'm just going to ladle it out like this. And the reason I'm not straining it out is because I want to keep using this. And I don't mind the little bits at the bottom. The last sip at the bottom I, I just don't have. So I'm ladling, let me get from a better area. Sorry about the lighting. So I don't want any, any big bits in. And I'm filling my cup like two thirds full, something like that. Let's see. Oh, that's a big, big bit there. It's a bit of something. Yeah, I think you're best off using, you could use a cafetiere or any kind of strainer, sieve, and that will just uh, get rid of all the bits for you. I'm so used to doing this tea that uh, I don't, it doesn't really bother me. Okay, I've just added some normal milk and I'm just adding some condensed milk now. Really sweet stuff. Don't be shy with this. You really want to go overboard with the sweetness. Forget about it if you're on a diet or whatever. Just carry on. Get it nice and sweet. Um, and then uh, plenty of uh, normal milk as well. Beautiful. That's quite a big cup actually. So that's that's a normal sized cup. And that is going to uh, hopefully stop us from getting a blood clot. Uh, I also added a touch of olive oil. Uh, that's, that was in the list in, in Google of things that can prevent blood clotting. So uh, I actually had a pasta lunch and I, I just used like half a bottle, half a little bottle of olive oil in it. It's actually quite delicious. Um, and also I put a little sprinkling of pepper. I'm not sure if that was in the list, but along with oil, pepper helps uh, turmeric to absorb into the body. So may as well add a little bit in there. As you can see, it's a little bit bitty and the last sip will also be uh, full of bits. So I avoid the last sip, uh, but I don't mind a few bits like this. But if you do, just put it through a strainer or a French press. Enjoy and stay healthy.